Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. Today we are going to cover this Handtech CC65 ACDC current clamp. We're going to show how to use it um, beyond the range that it's designed for and how you can get good measurements doing that. Um, going high current, uh, higher than 65 amps, um, but we're mostly going to focus on the low currents. Kadir asked a question about low current, so let's see if we can answer that. Um, you know, this thing has a range of usable range of 20 milliamps to 65 amps, but there's times when you might need to go below that or above that, or even at 20 milliamps, you might be you might have some questions about your readings, and if you want to get a little more precision there or make sure you're getting a good reading, we're gonna kind of go over that, okay? and we're going to use both the scope and the multimeter and uh, AC and DC measurements. So let's do it. Thanks Kadir for asking the question and thanks guys for watching. Okay guys, uh, here's the setup. Let me go over the meter first. See if you can see this. I've got it set at the 1 millivolt per 10 milliamp setting. You see the green LED power on. So Low bat light's not on, so it's good battery. Okay, here's the degauss button that we're going to be hitting a lot to, to reset it. At these low current readings, you got to make sure you got a good degauss. All right, now here's the rest of the setup. I got the Tektronics uh, scope, uh, the PS2521G. Uh, it's on output two, it says output two here, and Constant voltage setting, so I've got it set at 10 volts and 10 milliamps. Let's set it for 20. So current set 0.02, 20 milliamps. Okay. Now these outputs come out. I'm just going to short them, and this output was short, but it'll put out 20 milliamps at short. Okay. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to run the yellow one through the multimeter. We're going to use this one to check it against our hand tech. So we're going to come. Uh, through into the current setting and I'm going to do this way so current has to go down through the hand tech this way for positive to minus that way and then through the meter out the the uh, return leg and then back to the power supply simple as that okay and I'll degauss this a few times so right now you can see I'm uh, there's practically zero amps here you know it's not 0.003 milliamps and this is one millivolt. Now this meter is set right now. I'm not going through a scope, so I'm using one of these adapters. You can, I, I suggest buying this. Well, if you want to use it for both a scope and a multimeter, buying it for, with the scope uh, BNC and then using one of these adapters. And this adapter, if you can see there's a little bump right here, that's the return side. Okay, that's this, that's this collar right here. That's the return, that's this one. And uh, so that's a plus. So it goes into the voltage setting because we're reading volts. This meter uh, takes this current reading and converts it to volts. So we come in here and I got volts and DC volts. Right now it says 0.9 millivolts. So I'm gonna degauss it, hold it down for a moment, let go. And see, it's about it was about zero, and then it came out about 0.4. I'm going to do the gas again, 0 0.0, and it comes back about 0.1. So just a little bit of residual flux in the core. With the power, with it all set up here, I'm going to hit the out button, and it'll you'll see this go to short, and it'll try to put out 20 milliamps. It says 21 milliamps, and it's about 50 millivolts. And this is 22.8 milliamps, and this guy, you got to multiply this by 10, right? Because we're on a times 10 say so it's 22.9. So it's pretty darn close to that meter. That's not bad, right? So, okay, so we're look, it looks like it can read down to 20 milliamps, which is about what the uh, Hamtech website says. Okay, let's see if we can go down to 10 milliamps. Current set, 0.01. Okay, it's... This guy says he's actually putting out 12.5. And if you multiply that by 10, it's 10.5. 10.9. Uh, so 
you know, maybe it's losing a little bit of accuracy. I don't know. Let's even go down to point, uh, five milliamps. Okay. Oh, that looks like 50 milliamps. Hold on a sec. Okay, there we go. Five milliamps. Okay, we got about 7.5 here. And you multiply, you know, see that's way off now. Now here, let me degauss this. Hit it a few times, hold it down maybe. Okay. Uh, now go back on this guy. If you multiply that by 10, that's way too much. So it's kind of, see if I take it off, it's just kind of bouncing around. It's, it can't go down that low. Okay, now what about, what if you did this? The current goes through this thing and creates a magnetic field in this, okay? So, it's like a transformer. One, what, I don't know how many turns are in here, but this is like one turn. What if instead of doing one turn, here I'm going to degauss a couple times, what if instead of make one turn, what if we do two, let's say three, let's say four turns. No, let's try three. I don't know if I can get four in there. Okay, that's three turns. So you multiply that by 10, that's 32. Divide by three, that's about 10. So it's it's a little bit closer to 7.5. So we are getting a little bit, we are getting some better accuracy. At least we're able to get something close to this, where if we only do one, it's way off. That's like 16 milliamps because you got to multiply that by 10. So you see, uh, what if we just do two? One, two turns. Okay, that's about 23, 25 divided by, you know, so it looks like even if just, you know, it seems like around 10 milliamps going through here, you start getting a decent reading. It's kind of sensitive because this is pretty low current. But yeah, you divide 20, say you divide 20 by two turns, you're back down 10. So I guess two or three turns seems to give a lot, seems to at least get, you know, a lot closer. Maybe 25 or 30% off, but hey, at least you can get a reading down to five milliamps. I mean, seven milliamps, I guess, right? Okay, so that's not bad. So there's a DC, there's a method of reading DC, okay? All right, now what if you need to read more current than 65 amps, what this is rated for? I'm not going to go above that right now, uh, but I'll demonstrate how you do that. You, you, let's say you have parallel uh, wires, okay? There's two parallel paths going to this meter. And uh, let me jump the current up so I can get something readable. Okay, that's one amp, okay? I'm still kind of short circuited but now we're getting a little bit of voltage drop across these meters but um, okay now watch I'll go across the yellow meter now multiply that by 10 that's 550 milliamps so that's about half an amp okay now whoops this guy's over the milliamp reading shoot hold on a sec There we go. Hey, by the way, you notice the voltage drop here? When you're going to milliamp, it's got a bigger shunt resistor in here. So we had a bigger voltage drop. Now we're only dropping 0.3 volts. Okay, now again, we're reading about 570 milliamp. Now let's see if I jump across here. And that's about 500. Now we have one amp total, so they should both be about around 500. But here, let me degauss. Take it off degauss it. Okay, go across this one. There we go. There's about 475, 477. Okay, about 477 there. I'm going to degauss it again. And about 528 there. So it looks like the yellow wire actually has just slightly more current than the red wire. 
Now, I wonder if that's because the yellow one's actually making contacts and the red one's on the outside. Maybe, I don't know. But yeah, there you go. So if you're, if you gotta take a high current reading, you can split it up. If you gotta take a low current reading, you can just make your transformer. This, normally it's a one turn to, let's say this is 100 turns, one to 100 turns. Then you just make two turns, maybe three turns. Wonder if I can go four. I'm gonna try four. Uh, it won't quite close. Oh, maybe just barely. Okay, now look at that. I got four turns, so that's about um, 200 milliamps. So times that by 10, that's two amps. So four turns uh, gives me two amps. So I know it's really around a half an amp. So two amps divided by four is about a half an amp. See that? So there, there you go. There's ways you can help you know help this meter give you good readings okay or any other current probe you have hope that's helpful guys now that's DC let's just jump our AC for a minute alright guys so I've got the hand tech current probe plugged in the scope now I've moved this camera to get a little closer here I've got the signal generator at 1 kilohertz and 20 volts peak to peak so that is about 10 volts peak about 7 volts RMS and uh, we have a 2.1 K resistor on the board. Let me show you that. Bring the board up here so I don't have to move the camera. So I've got a resistor, 2.1K. I've got the generator here and the scope probes here. Scope probes on the other side of the resistor. And then I'm using this green resistor so I can put the current probe on here, okay? So here's the other side of the generator. Alright, let's bring that back down. Hopefully that was focused well enough. But I think you get the idea. So I'm just putting this signal through the resistor. Okay, I'm going to degauss the probe. You notice how it was, look how it's, there's the center of the probe. Here, let me move that down so you can see it. This guy, it's like the signal, tells me the position, which I really liked on the signal, so that's cool. Okay, degauss it. Push this down a few times, hold it. I kind of hold it and pushed it short times. I'm not sure which works better, but do that a few times. Okay, it looks like it's decals pretty well. Okay, let me put this on the wire. And you can tell it's really dirty, okay? The scope's reading the RMS down here. It's about 7 milliamps RMS. Okay, now what I'm going to do is take that green wire and loop it around the uh, probe. Whoops, hold on a sec. This wire's not quite long enough to make it easy for me. There we go. So you can see the signal got bigger and we're about nine. So uh, I, I would believe this better than the other measurement. Now we take this divide by two, we're down around five or six. So if I had a longer wire I could rotate it around there a couple times. But we're well underneath the usable range because the usable range is said to be 20 milliamps by hand tech. Um, but you know so if you're trying to read real low current readings, you might not have you know exact measurements, but it's not too bad. I mean, you can see how you can um, you know improve your readings by wrapping it around. There you go, guys. I uh, hope you like that, and uh, let me know if you have more questions about this hand tech. And uh, thumbs up if you liked it, please. Thanks.